hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel india gate so in this session of discrete mathematics we talk about conditional and biconditional statement so let's start it's represented like this arrow here is a statement one and there is a statement two means p implies q it is also called if p then q and a, a conditional statement is called an implication here p is called called hypothesis or premises q is called conclusion and consequent <coughs> statement here p and q is your different two type of statement or maybe value so when the value of p is true and value of q is true then p implies q equal to true when the value of p is true and q value is false then it produce false now come on when the value of p is false and q is true then it produce true and when the value of p is false and value of q is false it produce true means we have only remember one statement only this when the value of p is true and the value of q is false it produce false <coughs> else it produce true in any other condition except true and false express the conditional statement means p implies q so here are multiple way to express the conditional statement like if p then q second one is p implies q if p and q if p only q p is sufficient for q a sufficient condition for q is p q if p q whenever p q when p q is necessary for p a necessary condition for p is q q follows from p q unless not p now here's the example if i will be there at 9 unless the train is late so this unless is represent the last of the expression here i will there at 9 it is q and the train is late this is p now we come some important points p only q say that p is p can be true when q is not true that it is a statement is false if the value of p is true but q is a false and second one is q unless not p means that if not p is false then the value of q is true must be true now come to the converse the proposition of q implies p is called the converse of p implies q contrapositive so contrapositive is the proposition is equal to not p implies not q and inverse is also a proposition which implies not p implies not q is is called inverse of p implies q here is the important point is that the conditional statement and its contrapositive are equal means p implies q equal to 
not q implies not p and the converse and the inverse of conditional statement are equal means not q implies not p equivalent to not p implies not q okay where p implies q equal to not p or q now we move on the functional concept complete collection of logical operators a collection of logical operator called functionally complete if every compound proposition is logically equivalent to compound proposition involve only the logical operators like negation conjunction negation disjunction nand gate nor conditional and biconditional statement now we move on biconditional statement so biconditional statement is represent like both side arrow and it is called p if and only f q and other is called p is necessary and sufficient for q and q is necessary and sufficient for p here if p is possible then q is possible else none none of the statement is possible now come to the truth table of the p and q or by conditional if p and q is true it produced true if p and q is p is true q is false then it produced false if p is false and q value is true it produced false when the value of p and q is false then it produced true means same value produce the true and different value equivalent to false it is equal to x nor x nor k so when the value is same then it produce true when the value is uh, different it produce false now other ways to express p if only if q first one is p is necessary and sufficient for q and vice versa second one is if p then q and conversely means vice versa and p if only and if q now there is a key point that p if only q that has exactly the same truth value as p implies q and q implies p now there is other <coughs> other way to represent the p if and only if q it is represented like equal equivalent to not p and q or p and not q now we move on precedence logic of operator so lowest precedence of the operator is negation and highest precedence of the operator is biconditional 
सो फर्स्ट वन इज दिस सेकेंड वन इज दिस थर्ड वन इज दिस एंड फोर्थ वन इज दिस एंड फिफ्थ वन बाय कंडीशनर नाउ कम्स टू टोटोलॉजी द टोटोलॉजी इज अ कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन दैट इज ऑलवेज ट्रू नो मैटर दैट वॉट द ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रोपोजिशन दैट अकर इन इट इट इज कॉल्ड टोटोलॉजी means if the truth table the outcomes of the true true and true and so on true then it produce tautology compound proposition here all the output condition is always true come to the contradiction so contradiction is a compound proposition that always false it is called contradiction means here the outcomes of the truth table is always false 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 no matter, no matter inside what is the input and what is the statement is used but the output of the table is always false contiguous contiguous means this is include true plus false both type of statement in the last of the outcome of the table means it is neither tautology nor contradiction is called contiguous now tautology is also called valid because valid is always true not the false and contiguous also called satisfiable because satisfiable means always true and plus false both statement are used in the satisfiable contradiction is unsatisfiable and satisfiable is always equal to contradiction means only false value so this session is the end here who one is not subscribe this channel please subscribe like and share the videos thank you have a, thank you have a nice day